Hey everybody, uh, Brian and Brevin back finally. <laughs> we uh, we had a, first, uh, a few first video challenges. Um, I, we, we filmed that first video on Christmas Day and I don't think we got it posted until January 6th or something. Brevin kept asking me, yeah. is it posted, is it posted? And uh, I felt really old <laughs> because I, this is embarrassing, but I, I couldn't figure out how to get a video from my phone to my PC, not not, a, not an Apple product, not a Mac, but I, I have an iPhone that was, was recording the video and getting it onto my PC. And then of course, doing some very minor editing and uploading to YouTube for the first time ever. So anyway, learned some things there. My wife helped me, <laughs> but I felt like that commercial where you're turning into your parents and I couldn't figure out the technology. So a <laughs> little, little embarrassing, but anyway, here we are mid-January, um, it's a Monday before Monday Night Football of Wild Card Weekend. And uh, I'd like to open some more cards today. But uh, since the last video, uh, Brevin has an update. Why don't you show everybody, dude? I broke my right arm. So I was playing football with my friends, tackle, no pads. And then I dove and I rolled over it. So yeah, it's... Frustrating as a father whose son plays uh, multiple sports. Um, he said broke. It's I guess technically a fracture yeah. um, and, and kind of a minor one. So he's got the cast for uh, uh, like for four more weeks now. Until January, oh no, February. February seventh. I guess yeah. three more weeks. February seventh is the the date they have to take it off. Um, unfortunately, he's missing out on uh, basketball season and uh, golf training and. Uh, uh, his batting, his batting lessons he gets, his private lessons, private coaching. Um, but uh, there's never a good time uh, to fracture your wrist, especially when you're playing sports year round. But he'll be fine. Third time he's done this, uh, same, same, same wrist. So I know those of those of you who know us uh, can probably remember at least one other time because it was just a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so here we are, second second video. Um, you know, one thing I want to just uh, chat about because there's news in the hobby about this right now is what makes something a rookie card in, in baseball card collecting. So I think it's a little, you know, I'm a big baseball card collector, uh, fringier when it comes to basketball, football, certainly hockey, don't have any hockey, but um, Brevin likes football and basketball, so it's got me into it. Um, but I believe with uh, NBA, NFL rookie cards, it's pretty clear cut. You know, you get drafted, they make cards of you. Those are your rookie cards. You know, uh, those those professional leagues don't have uh, the farm system depth that baseball does, where there's um, obviously a ton of prospects. When when baseball drafts players, are drafting for like six, te six teams, not not just the major league level. So it creates complications in the baseball collecting world. And the reason this is news recently is, uh, well, let me go over three kind of three, three things that make, you know, uh, three definitions of what a rookie is. So first, I guess, is the Major League Baseball definition. And I'm going to focus on hitters here. Um, but uh, as soon as you have 150 plate appearances as a hitter, uh, you're no, you're, you're, that, that's now your rookie year if you, if you surpass 150 uh, plate appearances. Uh, if you're a pitcher, I believe it's I believe it's 50, might be 50 innings or 50 appearances if you're a reliever. Um, but there's these thresholds that MLB has to clearly define when you're a rookie and when you'd be eligible for, say, the Rookie of the Year award. Obviously, there's a lot of guys who get called up in baseball in September, historically, and they don't get those 150 at-bats or those 50 uh, appearances as a pitcher in just that one month. So they're not a rookie yet. They, they might be a rookie the next season when they do uh, surpass those, those thresholds. So that's kind of the Major League Baseball definition, which is important here in that, um, you know, th that's how the actual baseball league <laughs> looks, at, looks at things and the governing, governing body of baseball itself and for uh, historical stats and whatnot. Now there's uh, what I'll call the Beckett definition so obviously the hobby has evolved over the years, but but Beckett was kind of the you know only game in town when it came to price guides. Um, only major game in town, I guess. I, I don't want to offend anyone else who's been doing price guides out there for many years, but uh, you know Beckett's a household name, and you know that was quote unquote the hobby. You know everyone read read Beckett and followed the hobby that way for years, decades really, and you know 
uh, I think Becky did a good job in at least coming up with their definition of what a rookie card is. And the Beckett definition is the card has to be in a base set, so it can't be an insert set. Um, that set has to include veteran players within the set along with the quote unquote rookie cards. Um, and then the set has to be widely distributed. Um, so it can't be some fringy thing, you know, that you only find in uh, you know, one corner of the world. Uh, so for the most part, you know, your mainstream sets, your, your, your modern day, your tops, your Bowmans, uh, and historicals, your, your Don Russ, your Fleers, all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of the, the quote unquote collector definition via Beckett, you know, their opinion on that. Um, and then you have now this manufacturer definition. And when you talk about baseball, you're really just talking about the, the tops company as far as being fully licensed with MLB. And their definition is, hey, when we slap that rookie card logo on the card, and I think everyone has seen this. This has been around for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years now. They got the little RC logo on a baseball card to identify it as a rookie card. And that's the manufacturer telling you this is a rookie card. Um, now, why has this come up again recently? Well, there's a new set out. It came out right at the end of the calendar year called uh, a Bowman's Best. Pop popular set um, known for, you know, it's a Bowman brand. It's, you know, modern day, it's known for prospecting, uh, uh, finding prospect cards. Um, but what they did in 2021 Bowman's Best was they didn't number the, the quote unquote prospect players separately from the veteran players. So you've got one full set, it's a base set, it's widely distributed, and now because of basically a numbering change that Topps did uh, when they were making this set, all the set, all the prospects and the veterans are in the same set, this now meets the Beckett definition of a rookie card. And so uh, Wander Franco is the big topic in, in that set because he's in there, right there with you know, Mike Trout and, and uh, Xander Bogarts and Mookie Betts and those guys, clearly veterans. And Wander's card though, and, and every other prospect in the set does not have a rookie card logo. So Topps is not telling you this is their rookie card. Presumably Wander Franco's Topps logoed rookie cards are gonna be 2022. Um, so now the debate has ensued, right? Like what makes a rookie card? Do you, know, do you want the manufacturer to tell you it's a rookie card with the logo? Do you wanna use the, the Beckett definition? And it gets complicated because common sense to me says, well, Wander, Wander Franco was a rookie this year, 20, well, this last season, 2021. He met the MLB definition of a rookie. He had over 150 plate appearances and he finished third in rookie of the year voting. So once he surpasses those 150 plate appearances, he's a rookie for Major League Baseball. It seems to me like if, everyone, if, if the stars could align, uh, Topps would have put the rookie card logo on Wander's 2021 cards after he met that, that uh, threshold. Now I know it's hard with timing and how long it takes to send something to, to print and all that. And uh, I'm not gonna get into that because I'm sure you know, there's details there that are important. Um, but again, in a perfect world, those things would, would align. So it feels like Wander was a rookie this year because he was in Major League Baseball, but Top isn't putting that on the cards. But now the Spellman's Best set has him in there with the veterans. And you know, the, some traditional collectors are like, hey, that meets the definition we, we came up with as a, as a hobby. And these are now rookie cards and should make this card you know, more, more popular. I think it's complicated too with, uh, you know, I don't have to go any further than his own teammate, Randy Rosarena. So when I saw who won Rookie of the Year in the American League this year for 2021, I was kind of surprised, as you might be, to hear Randy Rosarena won the 2021 Rookie of the Year. Well, wait a second. He was like a big deal in 2020. He set the all-time record for home runs in a single postseason with 10 back in 2020. And that's all fine and good, but what he didn't do in the regular season in 2020 was have 150 plate appearances or more. He did not count as, <laughs> as a rookie yet. So Randy and Rose Arena's rookie cards, both by Beckett definition and by the manufacturer definition tops, is actually 2020, even though he himself wasn't a rookie until 2021. So anyway, uh, just food for thought. I'm curious what, what you guys think a rookie card is. Uh, feel free to leave that comment you know, below the video. I would love to hear other, other opinions. And here's my, here's my advice as a collector. To me, what's foolproof in, in the marketplace is, is collecting someone's first MLB licensed card. 
So that most often these days ends up being uh, a quote unquote prospect card, usually a Bowman Chrome or a Bowman Chrome draft because they usually you know get these players out uh, the, the soonest. But um, I think there will always be collectability in a first year MLB licensed card um, versus playing this like, well, which one's the rookie card game? And let's just use Mike Trout as an example. Super collectible is not just his 2011 rookie cards with the rookie card logo, but also his 2009 Bowman Chrome cards, his first MLB licensed uh, product. They're both super collectible and you can't go wrong with the 09. Time has passed with Trout, so you also know you can't go wrong these days with the 2011. But as this Wander Franco market plays itself out early on right now, Mm, kind of kind of risky betting on is 2021 Bowman's best his rookie card and frankly all this 2021 stuff because that's when he was a rookie in Major League Baseball or is 2022 going to be uh, his rookie card where, where it has it's going to have the logo on it for this next year's issues. Um, so right again f food for thought would love to hear what you guys um, what you guys think out there how you how you guys collect for me I'm going for the first it'll be issued card, whether that's a prospect card or a quote unquote rookie card. Uh, to me, that always has, that always has value. And if you're collecting vintage and you follow that same rule, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine as well. I'm sure there's exceptions out there, but for the most part, <coughs> excuse me, that's a good good rule to, uh, to, to live by if you're, if you're trying to collect uh, early edition cards. So anyway, that's who for, for thought for today. Um, Brevin and I liked the 2021 Top Stadium Club Chrome baseball cards so much that we opened on Christmas. We got two more boxes, one each. These, these I thought were a really good deal in, in today's market at just $100 a box. I'm kind of laughing saying just $100 a box, but it's crazy how expensive sports cards are these days. As I look at baseball, or sorry, basketball and football, I guess he likes collecting those. It's even crazier than the baseball, than the baseball stuff. Um, so let's uh, let's get let's get to it. All right, here we go. So one upgrade we made since the first video was we got this uh, this nice uh, ultra pro ultra pro uh, play mat. Um, one minor uh, upgrade here for opening opening cards just to keep them off the off the table. This table's got you know ridges up here as you see, and uh, uh, you know could da could potentially damage cards as you slide them around. So. Uh, anyway, got this map, which is nice. Looking forward to using this. And then uh, joining us at the break today, we've got three Hall of Fame rookie cards. This one is a Diamond Stars Ducky Medwick Beckett Vintage Grading 6. Love that nickname, Ducky. And we've got a gorgeous uh, 1949 Bowman Early Win in an eight, BVG eight, great looking card. And last but not least, in the Hall of Fame collection, Pedro Martinez. This one missed being a uh, black label 10 by just half a grade there on the surface. Um, lots of these out there actually. They, they over, this is, this is from the Junk Wax era 1991. Massively overproduced, so was able to pick up a 10 for not too much money. Pedro was one of my favorite players as a kid. All right, so 2021 Top Stadium Club Chrome, one autograph card, uh, on card autograph in every box. This is a, another personal break for Brevin and I. And we'll see what we get. Alright, 
here we go. First pack. Brandon's going to be sleeving off screen. Daniel Johnson. You Darvish. Kyle Seeger. Zach Gallen. Thurman Munson. And a crystal ball, Alex Kirloff, rookie card. Now, as we were talking about, the, Beckett would not consider this a rookie card. I know it's got the logo. There's a logo there. But this is not a base card. This is an insert. So it is not a rookie card according to Beckett's definition. But it meets the manufacturer's definition there with the, with the logo. So just add to the confusion. All right, Kybert Ruiz, Vlad Jr., Mickey Moniak, Yogi, Rookie Card, Autograph, Letty Tavares. That's a sick photo, too. This is Refractor out of 50, 20 out of 50. So what does that make this? Is this, is this gold? I think that makes it a gold refractor, Rev. Mm. Top load that one too. And then Marco Gonzalez. This is a, this is a refractor. So we got the autograph out of the way in this, what, second pack? Wow. Jack Flaherty. Kyle Isbell. Travis Blankenhorn. These photos are awesome. Keegan Aiken. JD Martinez. It's a cool photo. And Alex Bregman, Beam Team. Brent Honeywell, Cole Calhoun, Max Kepler in the Ivy, presumably that's uh, Wrigley Field, Hosmer, Adonis Medina, and a virtual reality Aaron Nola. Ooh, Nolan Ryan. Gorgeous card. Daryl Strawberry. Hack this name up, Quang Hun Kim. Dansby Swanson. Hideki Matsui. And Bean Team rookie, Bobby Dahlbach, Dahlbeck. All right. 
right. Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer. Aaron Nola. Jorge Ona. I haven't heard of him. Jorge Ona. Corey Seeger. Michael Coppett. Peter Solomon. This looks like a refractor. Yep. Check the back if you're unsure, because it'll it'll say refactor right by the number. Yes. Jordan Alvarez. Mitch Keller. Jock Peterson. Patrick Weigel. Spencer Howard. And a beam team rookie card, Cabrian Hayes. A lot of potential there. All right. Let's keep going, Brad. See what we get. Looking for some more color. Kirilov rookie. Danny Jansen, Joey Bart, I presumably the uh, starting catcher for the Giants in 2022 with Buster Posey's retirement. Akil Badu, great name. Chris Paddock, and a Patrick Weigel. Refractor. Ooh, Ty Cobb. That one's cool. You say Kikuchi. Dylan Bundy, Paul DeJong, Tariq Skubal, and first one in this box of the 1991 Stadium Club Chrome Design, Christian Yelich. Hyung Jong Yang, rookie card. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. I think this is Miguel Yajur, rookie card. Another kid, Brian Hayes, rookie card. All rookie cards, my gosh. That's a good, good rookie card pack. Albert Abreu, another rookie. And to top it off, a beam team rookie of Alec Bomb. Was that all rookies? Yeah, the whole pack was rookies, including the uh, the insert there, the team, the beam team. That's cool. Yeah. Lorenzo Cain. Kevin Kiermeyer. Chris Sale, cool photo. Slider, maybe. Looks like a slider finish. Brady Singer. Daz Cameron. And Jared Kalinick. Photo taken at the A's. 
stadium it looks like, but he's on the Mariners, obviously. 1991 Stadium Club Chrome. Sweet. Just a few more packs. Jemai Jones, rookie card. Gavin Lux. Tim Anderson. He's gaining in popularity. Keston Hira. Nelson Cruz. And a Robin Yount. Refractor. I think that's the gold variety. 11 out of 50. Wow. Hall of Famer there. Two more packs, bro. Brandon Nemo. Luis Garcia. Andrew Vaughn, rookie card. Lots of rookie cards here. Dustin May. Logan Gilbert. And Adolis Garcia. Refractor. All right, last pack. Mario Feliciano, rookie card. Ian Happ. Chris Bubik. Evan White. Jose Altuve. Pretty cool photo there. They're all hopping over the fence after presumably a walk-off. And Ronald Acuna Jr., 1991, Stadium Club Chrome. Not a bad way to finish it off. I like that box overall. All right, we're going to let Brevin take the seat and open the second box. Stay tuned. Hi, guys. It's Brevin, and I'm going to be opening the 2021 Topps Chrome Stadium Club Pack. That trash over there. Move these over here. Orion Mountcastle, rookie card. Lorenzo Kane. Looks like he's about to catch a fly ball. A certain apostle in a batting cage. I think we got him for an autograph last video. Anthony Rizzo got traded. Santiago Espinal, who sliding into base. And then I can't really say this guy's name. 
Hirokazu Sawamura. Hirokazu Sawamura? Yeah, yes, yeah. apparently. <laughs> uh, refracted. Japanese. Refracted is a wiki card. Next pack. Are you Darvish? Brandon Nimmo? Albert Pujols? Nick Senzel? Ooh, Stan Mus Musial. Stan Musial. Oh, Stan Musial. Yeah, Hall of Famer Cardinals. Shohei Otani Refractor. That looks cool. Shohei Refractor? Yep, Shohei. That's what I said. Yeah. Ian Happ. A lot of duplicates this time. Alex Kirilov. Yep. Alex Gordon, a Don Mattingly, got him four, a Zach Granke, and a beam team, Lewis, or, yeah, Lewis Robert, or Lewis Robert, don't know how to say his name. Yeah, Luis Robert or Louis Robert. Oh, yeah. I guess if it's Spanish, it's technically Louis Ro Robert. Or yeah. Like that, but, yeah. Some people call him Lou Bob. Lou Bob. Because he's Bob. Well, Robert is Bob. For, Bob is Robert for sure. Mm. Danny Jen Jansen. Hyun Jong Yang. He looks funny in that picture. <laughs> Rookie card. Brandon Crawford. Don't really like him. I'm just kidding. I like him. Don't like the Giants in general. Trey Mancini. Manny Machado. Dirty player. Dirty, huh? Yep. Yeah. And then Jonathan India, rookie card. What is this again, Dad? Uh, I think that's called a crystal ball. Crystal ball. Rookie of the year right there, right? Yeah. Not um, serial numbered. No autograph yet. No autograph. <laughs> My autograph came in the second. Ah. Yeah, that was kind of sad. Looks like a refractor on the back. A Shohei Otani, original, just normal, basic. JD Davis, Khalil Lee, rookie card. Bruce Dar Gratterall, I think. Mm -hmm. Dodgers. Eh. Then Topps Online Redemption Card. Congratulations, you are due to receive a base card autograph of Randy Rosarena, Tampa Bay Rays, SCBA, SCBA RA, from 2021 Topps Chrome, or Top Stadium Club Chrome, updates baseball. Interesting, so have you, have you ever gotten, I don't think you've ever pulled a redemption. No, I have not. So what this means is uh, Randy Rosarena probably wasn't able to sign his cards soon enough to make them inside the packs. Oh. But he did sign them, so they give you this redemption card. We have to go online go on um, the tops. to redeem it, and then they'll, they'll mail it to us once they have it. Oh, That's so pretty cool. I mean, that's an uh, autograph, Randy, Rosa, Randy yeah. and Rosarena, okay. Exactly. Base card. Rookie of the year. Base card autograph. We were just talking about it. Don't sleep that. <laughs> yeah, leave this to the side. And then a Dylan Carlson rookie card. It was a good rookie. It is. Is it a refractor? Yeah, and refractor. Next pack. So we got a rookie already. Or autograph. 
Ronaldo. Uh, uh, Mitch Keller. Uh, Daniel Johnson, rookie card. Seth Alleged, rookie, uh, yeah, rookie card. Keegan Thompson, rookie card. Bryce Harper. And then a beam team, Ronald Acuna Jr. Awesome. Those beam teams, they really picked some of the... They got the right star players, I feel. Yeah. Like top tees. They probably have trout in here. Just haven't found them. That open. <laughs> A Justice Sheffield, Jonathan India rookie card, helmet flying off. Uh, oh, Louis Robert, Robin a home run. It looks like sweet photo. Yeah. Uh, Jorge Soler. He was good on the Braves. Big part. Kettle Marte. And virtual reality Mike Trout. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Not serial numbered. These stats look good. 111 runs, 151 hits. This is in 2020. It looks like 24 doubles, 46 homers, 124 RBIs. Yeah, he was hurt most of 2021, right? Yeah, a 281 average, a 603 slugging. And then I have no clue what TB means. Total bases. Oh, 324. Forgot. But yeah, that's a cool card. Next pack. Cole Calhoun. Keybert Ruiz. I think that's how you say it. Lucky card. Whit Merrifield. <laughs> Buster Posey, retire now. Flexion. <laughs> Still don't like the Giants. Uh, Carlos Santana. And then Sam Huff, rookie card. Gold. 7 of 25. 25? Yep. That must be orange. Oh. Look at the front. That, yeah, that's is. orange. That's orange. Here, hold it. Keep that there. Is here's... Find gold real fast. Yeah, so I think this is gold. Compare that. This is number to 50. Yeah. So we're looking here at this, these logos. You get an orange logo the logos and a gold here. logo. Yeah, so this is orange. One of 25. Hear that? And then here's the one of 25, or seven out of 25, Sam Huff. Bring these packs closer real fast. Next. That was good. Uh, Jose Abreu. Jeff McNeil. Bob Gibson. Hall of Famer. Sweet. Lamonte Wade Jr. <laughs> Lamont. Lamont Wade Jr. Oh, Lamont. My bad. There's no E right there, is it? No, there is. No, there is. I think it's Lamont. Yeah. Justin Dunn. 
and Bean Team Dylan Carlson rookie card. Awesome. That's a good rookie. Yeah. Five more packs. There's a lot of packs in this. Larry Lurkin. Adolis Garcia, stomping on home play, it looks like. Jesse Winker. Dave Winfield, showing off his new jersey, it looks like. Just got drafted, maybe. Hall of Famer? Yep. Probably when he got traded or signed with the uh, Yankees. Yeah. Taylor Trammell, Trim Trim yeah. Taylor Chamel, rookie card, Mariners. And then a Tyler Glasnow refractor. He's coming back from Tommy John at some point. Yeah. In one second. Cool card. Kevin Kiermeyer, Brent Honeywell Jr. Funny last name. <laughs> Has to go in a half circle around his back. I feel like we've pulled like four or five of him. Yeah. In the four boxes we've been. Rookie card, Fernando Tatis Jr. He was a hit last time. A uh, Lewis Brin Brinson. Miami, Dolph, no, no, Dolph. sorry, I'm talking about football, uh, Miami Marlins, a Mike Trout base card, catching a, catching a fly ball, and then a Dylan Carlson, 1991 Stadium Club, cool. I don't know. that's cool, no, I realized, I realized in researching this, this, uh, set more, there's only, like, they make it look like every player's got this 1991 version. Yeah. But they don't. There's only like 25 of them or something. Oh. So every time you get one, it's like a, a key player. Especially like the Mike Trout. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a key grind. Hayes in the back. We'll see that later. Uh, Luis, Luis Garcia. Mario Feliciano, rookie card, catcher. Giancarlo Stanton. What am I telling? What am I saying? Giancarlo Stanton, Yankee. Looks like he just hit a home run doing his bat flip. Taylor Walls, rookie card. Beam Team Mike Trout, and I think this is a... Whoa. It's not uh, that, but that's a... That looks fancier. That's, it's fancier than the other ones. Grab the other Beam Team. Okay, let me sleep that. Yeah, we'll drop... Uh, my dad will get that back. But 1991 Stadium Club Chrome, rookie card key Brian Hayes. Another one of those. Okay, so there's the Trout. This looks fancier than some. Here's the Carlson. That definitely has a wave refractor to it. Yes, this is a this is a wave refractor, guys. I think. I mean, it's something, but it's not serial numbered. No, it's, not it's definitely a big hit, though. Anything trout refractor, trout insert refractor, is a big hit. Yeah. We'll have to look that. We'll have to look that up to see what what exactly its name is. There's a, two more packs. Take a look on the beam teams, dude. Jack Flaherty. Kyle Isabel, rookie card. Denilson. Lamette. Lamette, yeah. No rookie card. Ha Seong Kim, rookie card. 
Mike Yastrzemski. Why have we been getting so many Giants players? <laughs> they had a good team this year. Yeah. Beam team, Derek Jeter. Jeter? Yep. My friend's name is Derek. He really likes this card. Probably wants to train me it. <laughs> yeah, you have to talk to him about it. Yeah. How many of your friends collect cards, would you say? Uh, probably just me. Maybe one other person. Just, like, collect them seriously, just you? Yeah, collect them seriously, just me. Like, just for fun, uh, probably five friends. I mean, you give us packs at, uh, our par team party sometimes, so. Right, right. Jamal Jones? Wait, is that Jamal or Jam That's Jamai Jones, it looks like. Rookie card. That one too, yeah. A uh, Gavin Lux rookie card. Oh, sorry, not rookie card. Dodgers player had two there. JT Brubaker. Brubaker. Yeah, Brubaker rookie card. Sterling Marte. Hey. Go A's. <laughs> Ryan Weathers rookie card. 1991 Stadium Club, Yadier Molina. And that was our last pack. So, see you next time.